everybody. Happy Saturday. We are on our way to the cemetery to take my sweet friend her flowers. She passed away, I think, four years ago now. So I am on my way. She lives way up on the mountainside, or she, her, her burial, her, her, the cemetery that she's buried in is way up on the mountainside, up east. But it's a really easy drive. You just go straight this way, turn left, and go straight up the mountain. So, cause we're, I'm still clear down here on the west side. So at least it's an easy drive. Daryl is actually in Wendover today. It was a last minute decision. He and his friend and their other friend wanted to go. They wanted to go last weekend, but they weren't able to go. So they decided to go today. So they went, they left at eight o'clock and they'll be home by four in the afternoon. So I am hoping to win some big money, yo. Last time, the last few times he's won something even if it's only like three hundred dollars that's a lot so sometimes he'll win a hundred sometimes he'll win a couple or three hundred and then sometimes he'll win 50 and then sometimes he'll just cut even and not lose anything but even's a good thing even is a good thing So let's just keep our fingers crossed on that one, shall we? So I was having serious anxiety this morning. I was fine, and then something happened, and I had a freaking major anxiety attack. And Well, I was about to have one, and so I took a lorazepam. And now I'm just like, I'm a zombie again. But that's okay. Actually, I don't need to turn. Actually, I do need to turn here. Um, so I'm kind of like out of it. Well, not out of it, but I'm just mellow yellow. We're talking mellow yellow. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Right now it's 76 degrees. It's almost one o'clock. It's supposed to be like 90 today and then tomorrow and Monday is supposed to get like in the 60s and rain which is not fun but we're supposed to go to our friend's house tomorrow for a barbecue and we're supposed to go to our neighborhood barbecue on Monday which we've never gone to before so that'll be so fun so I need to go to the grocery store after the cemetery and get ingredients because I'm making potato salad for the Monday barbecue. I don't know what I'm making for the Sunday barbecue. But I need, I have potatoes, but I need bacon and celery and olives. And then I put onions, which I already have, and mayonnaise, which I already have. And I need about eggs to put in there too. I have some eggs, but not enough. I just love my potato salad. I actually have it linked in my favorites. If you want to go check out the recipe, just go to favorites on my page and you'll find it there somewhere. So up to that mountain is where we're going straight up straight up. We are halfway there. We need to go all the way up to the base of the mountain. And of course there's road construction all the way up.
here. They hand out questionnaires. It's a bug. First time I've come up here by myself, Daryl's usually with me. I'm sure it's so expensive to be buried up here. Let's see, I have to figure out where she's at. Here she is. There's the cat. Looks like I'm the first one here. Hi, Nikki. That was her favorite cat. Called her sister. Nikki, miss you. <laughs> we were friends for twenty years. Nikki, what's up? That's better. I decided to take it out of the plant and stick it in the ground. So cute. Right, everybody. We are headed home. I don't think I've ever been to. I may have, but I don't remember. But it's clear over here. Right up there. Looks like a nice one. So we'll check it out. Yeah, so I'm home. I was filming in the Dollar Tree and I thought I was filming, but I guess I wasn't because there's no footage. So I'm home now. I decided to come home first to put away the Dollar Tree stuff before I go back to the store because I've got chocolate in here and it's flipping 85 degrees and it's hot in the car. So I'm just sweating like a pig. So I decided to come home first, get a drink, cool off, and then go back to the store. So let me just show you what I got. I was just at the Dollar Tree, and now here I go again. Oh well. First of all, I got this caramel milk chocolate lint candy bar. It is so teeny tiny, it's not worth a dollar, at least maybe 80 cents like the other candy bars. But I got it anyway because I love caramel and chocolate candy bars. So yeah, I went ahead and got it. Not worth a dollar. 
I was very bad and I decided to get the party mix. Um, yeah, I kind of went to the Dollar Tree when I was hungry, but that's okay, that's okay. I don't eat the whole bag in one day. Anyway, this stuff is so good. The Fritos, the, well the corn chips taste like Fritos. Well not really, but the corn chips taste good. They taste like good corn chips and the Cheetos are good. The pretzels are good. The Dorito part's good. It's all good. And I decided to get these little almonds. The bag is only filled to here. But they're hickory smoked almonds and you know they're itty bitty almonds. But every now and then I really do like some smoked almonds. I haven't had any in forever. So I went ahead and grabbed some. They also had some that were not smoked. And I got Daryl his milk duds. They were on the bottom shelf today. So I almost missed them. So I got him a couple of those. And I got myself another pack of these. These are so good. The Raisinette Snack Mix. And you get shredded coconut, milk chocolate raisins, peanuts. And the coconut is unsweetened and it's really good. And the peanuts are not salty. Well, they say sweet and salty, but the peanuts aren't very salty at all. So anyway, this is a really good pick-me-up if you're needing a snack. You know what I mean? So I grabbed those. Oh, and I grabbed me some more chicken crackers. These are so good. The Dollar Tree has the best chicken crackers on the planet, period, period. So I got one of those. And then the rest is boring. I got two of these. These, I made sure I got the 25% more. So you get 30 wipes instead of 24. I'm not really sure dollar is a good deal for this kind of thing because I go through these a lot, but we we're kind of out and so I needed some to put under my bathroom sinks. So I just went ahead and grabbed a couple. The green ones really smell good though. And then I decided to get some Lime Away Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I do have the Works, but it's different. The one that I have, the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner, it's um, blue. The last time I got it, it was purple. It was kind of like a liquidy purple and what I got now is kind of a thicker blue consistency and it doesn't work as well as the purple one and so it doesn't get the ring around the bowl off very well at all and the lime and stuff. So I thought well let's go ahead and get actual lime away and see how I like that and it was still only a dollar so yeah I was kind of disappointed. I was I got two big fat bottles of the the works toilet bowl cleaner and it's not the same as what I had before so it's not as good in my opinion. So I got two of those and then the last two things are kind of fun. Totally random. I wasn't planning on getting these at all. The hydrating lipsticks. Um, this one is in sorbet and it's peachy pink as like everything is. And then this is Dusty Rose, and seems like I wonder if I have this already. I know I have the mauve one that's not really mauve, but it seems like I had this one too, come to think of it. I'm going to have to go check that out. But anyway, that's all I got at the Dollar Tree today. That's all I needed. I'm going to see if I have the Dusty Rose already. Okay, oh, pink frost. Okay, that's better, pink frost. All right, and it's in a different packaging, but I'm wondering if it's about the same color anyway. We're gonna have to do a little swatch. All right, they do look a little different. The one on the left in the silver tube looks more purpley, but I could be wrong. Let's try this. Okay, so here's the new one I just bought. Mmm, this smells like coconut. 
Wow. This doesn't smell like anything, but this smells like coconut. It must be the hydrating part. Maybe there's coconut oil in this. Very pretty. This lighting sucks, I know, but for now we're just showing the difference. Oh, very different colors. Okay, good. So the one on the left is the new one and the dark one on the right is the old one. So that's good, they're different colors. Interesting, I can't believe how good this smells. It smells like coconut. Mm. Nice. Now we're gonna try this one. It's the sorbet. It also smells like coconut. It smells exactly like this mascara, which has coconut oil in it. I should read this. Vitamin E and aloe vera enriched formula. I don't see any coconut oil. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Of course the lighting is terrible. Well, it is what it is. So that's definitely more peach. Does that help? How's that? Okay, so sorbet is the circle, and then the darker one over there is the old one, and then this one over here is the brand new one. So yeah. All right, so here is Dusty Rose. Smells really good. Not bad for a dollar, you know? That's a really pretty color. I really like it, and it was a dollar. And it feels really good. Tastes good. Yep, I like that. I like it a lot. I like it a real lot. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I just knocked over the other one. Comes off easily, it's not, so it's not going to be one of those that stains or... Okay, here is coral. Is it coral? Sorbet. About the same, actually, huh? I like them both. This is a little bit more orange on me. Actually more peach. So I like it. Definitely worth the splurge of a dollar for each one. So I'm excited to use these. I really liked this one. I had forgotten about all about it. Pink frost. But this, you can tell it feels really good. I like it. Definitely worth a dollar. If you like hickory smoked almonds, stop what you're doing right now, run to the Dollar Tree, and get you some of these Maddie K's Almond Hickory Smoked. They are so good. I think I like them better than the diamond ones. Oh, they're so good. They're kind of, they're a great size. Um. There's not a lot of salt on them. They're easy to eat. They're not too hard. They have a really great flavor. Mm. Mm. These are the best nuts I have had in my mouth in a long time. Mm.
way to the store. Daryl actually got home a little bit early. He brought home 48 extra dollars. So he did not lose any money, which is nice, real nice. Well, you know, he's up 48, so that makes me happy. My stepdad loved to go to Wendover, and so he would always take a lucky coin. I don't know what it is, if it's like a half dollar or a silver dollar, I'm not sure. And so now Daryl takes, he uses that lucky coin every time he goes, and every time he's used it, He's won or broke even, but he's never lost. So the streak has continued on. We won $48. So at the store today, I need to get my prescription. Eggs, bacon, celery, olives, salad mix, ice cream, some pasta salad from the deli, cookies from the bakery, and rolls from the bakery. What can I say? It's it's the holiday weekend. Daryl wants rolls. And for tomorrow night, we're going to our friend's house for a barbecue. And so I'm going to get deli pasta salad. We like that. That's good. Simple and good. <laughs> Some beehive dinner rolls. They're so so good. And then these chocolate chip cookies from the bakery. They're amazing. Some prescriptions. I got the eggs. I got a couple cans of olives. Here is the pasta salad. Got some celery and some fully cooked bacon. And that's what I got at the store today. Hey! I didn't even ring the dinger. Oh, she came in, you guys, before I even rang the dinger. This is a miracle moment. Thing for you. You can do anything you want. You always do everything you want, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> my girls, I love you, Lola. Oh, oh boy. Okay, all the closet time is focused on you because this won't happen again for at least a month. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh, are you done? Okay. Love you. Mm, we love you. Good night. excited Lola came in oh my gosh I was trying so hard to hurry up and turn on my phone because I could hear her jump off the bed and walking on in the bathroom and I'm like fiddling with my phone trying to hurry to turn it on and I couldn't even ring the dinger she just was in like a flash that made me so happy she is just so cute <sighs> let's let's take a minute to absorb Lola Bella She's so precious. Momo's precious too. But Lola, we never see her, so you know. I have these notebooks here. I used this when I was in Mary Kay. It's just it's just a folder and I thought, oh, I'll keep it. And so when my nieces come over, they can play with it. And here's a little notebook that I also used. And I figured they could play with it when they ever came, so it's just been here in my closet. I need to put things away still. Oh my gosh. I do. Anyway, what is this? Oh, some hangers. These things are nice, but man, they're those um, velvet hangers. They stick to each other and they are like so hard to deal with, but I love them. I just love them. They give me 10 times more space in my closet, which I need. Oh. Let me just take a moment here to review the shoes that I got. Remember at the Payless last week? <sighs> Sorry. It itches. Very cute. These were ten dollars. They're very cute. And they are so boingy and spongy and comfortable. You don't even know. And these are American Eagle at the Payless shoe store. It's like I need to remember that I have these. And then, like I could have probably worn them today, but anyway. And then I got these from Payless. And these were 24. These are um, fabric. And they are so comfortable. These are the Dex Flex Comfort. And they're really squishy and they have pad all the way to here. But then, right, right up in there, padding stops. And I still need padding right there, but that's all right. These are still super comfortable and I will be comfortable walking in these whenever I wear them. <laughs> Which probably won't be, <coughs> won't be anytime soon, but. And these are on sale. They're normally $34.99. And these were on sale for $24.99. And Payless Shoe Store runs big. I always wear a perfect size 7. Like, I'm always a size 7 in all my shoes. But Payless, I always wear 6.5. They just seem to run a little bit large. So, that's what I got. Those were both 6 and a halves. And then, here's the other shoes that I got from QVC last year that I just had to have. And I've not worn them. And they're really pretty and they're they're comfortable. They're like so comfortable you don't even know. It's just more comfortable than I can explain. But I just haven't worn them. I don't really have anything to wear them with. I mean I know you can wear them with everything and anything, but I'm just picky, I guess, and I don't. 
And I haven't really worn a dress for a while, so. And then I'm picky about what kind of dress I wear with it, like a skirt or something. Because, I don't know. I wish I wouldn't have got them, but they were on sale and they were on easy pay. And they're darling and they are so comfortable, but. I mean, they'll look good with jeans. <laughs> and, and I don't know. I just don't have the right skirts or dresses to wear with it. I don't know. So that was a colossal waste of money. I think these were like 60 bucks or 65. I'll keep them and I'll wear them and enjoy them. I just don't know when. So anyway, now I'll let you know what shoes I've got going on. And still, I have like no room. I know I'm wasting all of my minutes here. So for dinner tonight, we fended for ourselves. Daryl had a huge buffet today in Wendover, and so he wasn't very hungry, and I wasn't very hungry either, so I just had the rest of my fruit that I bought the other day. I should have bought more fruit today when I was at the store. And that's about it. And before I forget, yesterday was Sally Anderson's birthday. She's a very sweet subscriber, and I told her I would give her a shout out for her birthday. So happy birthday, Sally Anderson. And I will insert her picture right here. Yay! All right, well, I am going to call it a night. It's 9 o'clock, and I've got to get my pajamas on and wash my face and edit this video. And tomorrow, I have to boil eggs and boiled potatoes so that on Monday I can make potato salad. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. And then I finished all the laundry today. So tomorrow I will just be preparing for the barbecue that we're going to go to tomorrow at our friend's house. So, Anywho, I just love you all. And I just thank you guys so much for your sweet comments. You guys are all so darn nice and loving and caring and thoughtful. I just love all of you and you fill my heart with love all the time. You really do. And I just wanted to take a quick moment to express that. I just, you guys blow me away. I have the best subbies ever. And you're not just my subbies, you're my friends. So yeah, thank you and I just love you. And I hope you have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you next time. Bye. These are the best nuts I've had in my mouth in a long time. <laughs>